guys, so if you're wondering why my back shelf is empty and there's no manga, that's because I'm finally going to do a manga collection video, and so let's go ahead and get started. First manga I ever got, I was in 8th grade, and it's no surprise what this might be, but it was the first Naruto. Yeah, I started watching Naruto on Cartoon Network, and it came out in like, you know, 2005, you know, and I was like probably 12 or 13 then. And uh, at that point, you know, I wanted to get into reading manga, so I figured why not start with Naruto. So Naruto has a really special place in my heart. I know a lot of people think it's overrated and there's plot holes, but I really enjoy Naruto, so I'm not afraid to call myself a huge Naruto fan. So yeah, definitely Naruto. My first shoujo manga, meaning like kind of girly manga, a little more sophisticated artwork, is Full Moon Osagashite. And, um... It's really good. The manga is definitely better than the anime, I think. I know a lot of people say that, but it's true. Um, Full Moon is just great. It's by an artist called Arena Tanimura, and if you've read, like, The Gentleman's Alliance, Kamikaze Kaito Jean, she's wrote so many, and I really think that she is one of the best manga artists ever. The art is just so beautiful, and, like, the character development in it is just really good, so... Um, check, check out Full Moon. I actually have the whole series, and it's a hard series to find these days because it's kind of old, but I have all seven volumes, and it's really, really good. If you're looking for, um, a girl manga to read, like, even guys would like it. It's so good, so check it out. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of go random on some manga. I have School Rumble, which I watched the anime first, and I enjoyed the anime so much that I picked up the manga. It's really funny. Um, the anime is a lot different from the manga. Um, I actually also have the fifth school rumble in Japanese. I found it in an old bookstore, and it's still all completely in Japanese. Nothing's translated. It still has the cut, because in, Jap in Japan, they, the manga looks like this, and they have the cover. Um, so that's just something interesting that I have, and since I like school rumble, I'm glad that I have that. Um, another manga that not a lot of people know about, but I really like, hasn't been made into an anime yet, Record of a Fallen Vampire. And it's not really like your normal vampires. Um, they, it's a completely different take on it. They don't really suck people's blood un unless they want to. They don't feel the, the need to do that. Um, I have the first five volumes. I believe that there's nine of them. So I haven't finished the series. But I think it's something that should really be made into a manga. I mean, into an anime. I really like the artwork. Um, even the artwork inside is just really good. And it's just... The way the manga flows, it flows like an anime. So I really feel like they should make... Uh, the Record of a Fallen Vampire, uh, an anime. So check it out if you can. It's by Viz Media. It's amazing. Um, another one. Um, I do have Bleach. Um, as far as Bleach goes, I actually read them online. Same with Naruto. I read Naruto online now. Um, but with Bleach, I'm not very far in at all. I only got to the end of the Rescue Buki arc, and I don't even know what volume that's on because I'm reading them online. But, um... I like Bleach's, it's got a different style of artwork, and I like its take on Soul Reapers and the Afterlife. Um, so, yeah, Bleach. I know a lot of people checked it out, but uh, if you haven't yet. Another one I have is uh, Negima. Some people call it Nijima, but if you go by the like Japanese like pronunciation, it would be Negima. Um, and it's okay. I'm not crazy about it. I, I, I thought the anime was really cute. Um, maybe it's just because I really haven't gotten into it yet, but, uh, yeah, check it out. I hear it's got a lot of fan service in it for people that like that kind of stuff, but not really for me. I also have Zatch Bell. Um, Zatch Bell is something I also watched on Cartoon Network when I was younger, and, um, the manga is so good. It gets so deep, and there's a lot more mature themes in it as well. Um, like, the Momotos, when they get attacked, they actually, like, bleed, unlike they did in the anime, which I watched on Cartoon Network, so they probably edited that. But, um, yeah, Zatchville is really good, and, um, I have a few of them, but I know that the manga's ended online, but I just haven't, you know, finished reading them. I've read, like, the first, maybe, seven volumes. Um, so, yeah, if you remember Zatchville, really read the manga, because if you enjoyed the anime, you will really like the manga a lot better. Um, I have D. Gray Man, which I haven't read much so far. I've only had this one volume, and I actually have it signed, by um, the English voice actor for Alan Walker. His name's Todd Habercorn. I met him at an anime convention not too long ago. And I got him just to sign the manga. Um, so he, he, he does the voice of this character right here. Um, so I just think it's really interesting that I got that signed by him. Uh, Rosario Vampire. Uh, lots of fan service. It was actually a friend of mine, and he like gave it to me. Uh, so 
yeah, if you want fan service and vampires, go for it. This will really bring back some memories. Uh, Rirouni Kenshin, this used to come on a long time ago on Cartoon Network. Um, didn't really watch it much in Cartoon Network. Picked up the manga. I really like the manga, so I'm going to reread more of this. Italia Axis Powers. Italia is very unique. It's a four panel manga, meaning that it's just four panels. It's not like your original manga. It's a uh, comedy, and I, I know the anime is just over the top popular. So, um, really check it out when you get the chance. Uh, one of my personal favorites, I Shit the Buse Baby. Um, it's really cute. It's literally this guy, and he's got to take care of his, uh, I think it's his younger cousin. And it's just how he, like, matures and he takes care of her. Really cute. I have, uh, volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, or 3 is somewhere, but it's, it's a really good series, so check it out. They have an anime as well. Uh, Prince of Tennis. Prince of Tennis, uh, also aired on Cartoon Network. Well, aired on Toonami when I started watching it. And, uh, I actually got the manga first, because I was always interested in tennis. So, um, yeah, Prince of Tennis is really good. I have the first two of them. Um, and actually, like, the take on tennis is really good. It's not boring at all. It's actually really good. Uh, Dot Hack Legend of the Twilight. Really awesome series. Awesome anime series. Awesome video game. Like, because I played the video game, and, um... And then I was like, you know, why don't I just pick up the manga? So, uh, it's really good, and it's a really good take on how, like, these characters are absorbed into a game. Um, I also have Tokyo Mew Mew. Tokyo Mew Mew is really cute and awesome. Um, I used to watch Mew Mew Power on 4Kids TV before Sonic X came on, so I bought the manga. Um, just your typical, uh, you know, Magical Girl anime manga. If So if you're into Magical Girl... Like, literally, pick them up. Um, I have, uh, almost all the volumes. I think I'm missing the last two. Uh, Lucky Star is another four-panel manga. Complete comedy. I absolutely love the anime of Lucky Star. Um, the manga is hilarious, too. And it goes deeper than the manga does. So, really check it out. All these people right here, they're just a bunch of nerds. And, you know, you relate to the characters really well. Um, The Melancholy of Harvey Suzumiya. Not a huge fan. Um... The, the anime really confused me. The manga kind of clears it up. There's a little novel in the back of it that um, can clear up some stuff. I like the artwork. Um, I know the whole Harley dance, so that's something. Uh, we Were There, Volume 1. Just kind of. This is one of the newer ones that I picked up, and it's kind of hard to find, but uh, We Were There has beautiful artwork. It's a beautiful story. I've been watching the anime, and I can't wait to get my hands on more. Um. This is actually kind of unique, just something I can show off. It's a bunch of shoujo beat manga, Oran High School Host Club, Ultramaniac, Fushigi Yugi, um, Miripori, just a bunch of artists coming together and putting uh, all their all their first chapters in one manga volume. I have Vampire Knight 1 through 9, and I love Vampire Knight so much, and it's hard to pick them up. Um, but Vampire Knight is really, really cool. Um, it's... One of the best vampire mangas I've ever read, and yeah, these vampires do suck blood, so they're normal, kind of, if you can say vampires are normal, but really check it out. Matsuri Hino is the artist, and the art is just amazingly beautiful. It's just so gorgeous, and I really, I really haven't yet found a manga that has better, more gorgeous, detailed artwork than Vampire Knight. Really check it out. Um... I only have Death Note number two because I'm a huge L fangirl, and so I just bought number two because I saw it and I was like, well, I'll just get the second uh, Death Note manga. I, I watched all the, all the anime, so I didn't really want to mess with the manga. Um, so yeah, I have I have that just because I'm I love L. Beastmaster is kind of a newer one I've picked up. Eh, there's only two volumes. Uh, it's okay. I I I like the artwork a lot. That's my favorite part about it. But the story is, eh, it's okay. Uh, Maripori is kind of the same as Beastmaster. There's not a lot of volumes to it, but it's by the same artist, Mitsuri Hino. It's by the same artist as Vampire Knight. So if you liked Vampire Knight, you might like Maripori. It's a lot different of a story. Um, Vampire Knight is a lot darker. This is a lot lighter. Um, but this came before Vampire Knight, so check it out. Um, Tale of the Moon is actually something I picked up. It's This girl is literally almost like Naruto. She's a ninja, but she's clumsy, and she's a klutz, and she doesn't... She's not a very good ninja. Um, but it's just kind of about her story about how she has to fall in love with this guy, and it's it's kind of dramatic. It's your typical girly anime with that ninja edge on it. So that's really good. I have a hardback Hikaru no -Go manga. Yeah, it's hardback. You usually don't see those. 
But um, I had a friend give this to me, and I don't really like Hikaru no Go, but um, it was just nice to have that hardback. Um, I have You Make Care a Dream Shop, which is amazingly cute. Um, it's a one volume manga, it's only just one volume, and it's, it's really good for people who are starting out reading shoujos, because it's got a simple story, and then once you read it, you're done with the whole story, and it's got four mini stories about like, each one of these girls. So, yeah, check it out. And uh, I have a bunch of Shonen Jumps, too, but that's, like, really all I have um, manga-wise. Um, I have a lot more to get, more of um, Aish Daruze Baby and more of Tokyo Mew Mew. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my collection, and I hope you'll, like, stay tuned if I get some more. So thanks, guys, and tell me what kind of manga you guys like. See ya!